would make is that it's, uh, it's extremely important that we measure quality and that we ensure that the contracts have high quality. Uh, index insurance is interesting and promising because it can actually induce people to make investments and improve their living standards in ways that they otherwise would not do. But obviously it's not sensible for someone to take additional risks if the insurance is not providing quality protection. So I think the most important thing we need to do is to start to measure that quality and, and as we design contracts that we look and see if indeed the contracts are providing the kind of quality that would allow individuals to prudentially take on more risk to make investments and, and to move themselves ahead. And if we can do that, and there are, some, there are ways to do that, but it requires, it requires collecting information on losses that people actually experience and then checking out to see indeed how effectively the insurance can protect individuals against those losses. So we can measure quality and I think it's absolutely necessary uh, that we do so if insurance is to realize the, I would call them, uh, the development impacts that we all hope that it can have. But economics offers a number of, of useful ways to, to look at and, and weigh together the information. What you're really trying to get at is when a farmer has a loss, how often, how frequently will the farmer be compensated? And secondly, how much of the loss will be covered? So you can basically take those pieces of information and weight them together into a measure that I like to call a reservation price measure of quality. The reservation price is simply the maximum price an individual could pay for an insurance without, make, without making themselves worse off. So it's a, it's a convenient sort of simple measure that you can use.